Well, hi guys, how's it going? How are you enjoying your, um, what's it called? It's your arrest, <laughs> your lockdown. <laughs> save a life, save the NHS. Yeah, of course, that's what it's all about, isn't it? We're locked down to save a life, save the NHS. That's why our pubs, they're empty, look. They're empty. You know why they're empty? Not even allowed to go in them anymore. We're locked down. We're under house arrest. And why? Well, it's not because of COVID-19 or whatever the hell it's called. I can tell you that much. I keep telling you what's going on. I keep warning you what's going to happen. You all think I'm a lunatic. You all block me. You all ignore my posts. The only things that take you any notice is when you can see my ugly mug. That's the only thing that gets any response. I put a post in that tells you what's going on in the world. You don't want to know. So you're going to put up with my ugly mug again. Now work it out for yourself. What is going on? Always with everything. The trick is... Hang on. I need my beer. Cheers, folks. I've got to have my afternoon in the pub. You know that, don't you? You do understand that. Don't hold it against me. Save a life. Protect the NHS. <laughs> yeah. So, as with everything, follow the money. And um, I need to ask you a question, and it's not callous, but you're going to say it is. I need to ask you, how much is a human life worth? That's it. Go on then. What's the answer? How much is a human life worth? Well, a lot of you probably have life insurance. How much is your life insurance? 50,000? 100,000? Quarter of a million? You got a million pounds worth of life insurance? You got five million pounds worth of life insurance? These people love them. But don't take this the wrong way. But these people in their 70s and 80s and 90s that are dying of this coronavirus, is your life worth more than yours? Your life is worth what your life insurance says it is. What you, you, decided it was worth. So I had a little look at some numbers. The British government it's going to be out of pocket. And I say the British government, not the British taxpayer, because once the government have your money, they've, it's theirs. They've already stolen it off you. So it's not the taxpayer's money, it's the government's money. They've already got it, right? You need to understand that. So the British government is going to spend £350 billion as a result of this coronavirus. <laughs> epidemic right 350 billion pounds now i'd say conservatively with all the research that i've done that this lockdown being optimistic might save 5,000 lives but forget that let's suppose putting you all under house arrest save 50,000 lives, 50,000 lives, let's say 50,000 lives on the house arrest, give ourselves all a pat on the back, and a boy, well done, you stayed at home, you prevented the spread of the virus, and you saved 50,000 lives, you are fantastic people, and the cost of those 50,000 lives, for each one of those 50,000 lives, a cool 7 million pounds, 7 million pounds, for each one of those 60, 70, 80 year olds whose lives you prolonged for another one or two or three or four years by staying home. Well done, 7 million pounds you decided, you decided, their extra two or three years was worth 7 million pounds of the government's money. Not your money, you've already been robbed of your money, the government. Now you need to ask yourself, why has the government valued those lives at seven million pounds of their money?